Yo guys, thanks for coming on through. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe uh, near the end. This really helps me, helps the algorithm, and gets me closer to the 1,000 subscribers that I'm really trying to get for. So, you know what to do. Hey guys, it's Sid, and today we're going to actually talk about how to farm your deep dive and your have a plan set because I believe, uh, well, I saw one person ask, how would you farm this? And I think a lot of people think, oh, you just have to go do stuff and just get lucky or get card packs and stuff like that. Not exactly. There's actually a very simple way to get most of your cards for both sets, except for the legendaries and one card and you have a plan. Let's check them out real quick. So we have deep dive and you have a plan here. And if, if you watched my previous video about you using the wrong card set, I'd go over these and how they're beneficial in the long run, though. The end game light of salvation is your best bet for DPS and lost one cliff is your best support. But these are great for newer players, in between players, players that don't have Light of Salvation yet and need a way to get a damage increase. These two, or support that doesn't have anything, honestly, a support should be using you have a plan until they get Lost Wing Cliff 30. If they're not, they're they're not they're they're just putting damage down on the floor that they should not be doing. So if you see a support that has you have a plan or you, they need to go farm it. This is how they do it. This is also for DPS that are looking for deep dive. This is how for you to farm your cards so you can store them up and get more of them easily with little effort. So one thing I want to say I noticed um, on all of these cards, except for, of course, the legendaries, they're, they're not as easy. The only legendary I know that can do this is Wei. Um, and one other card is Jederico that doesn't do this. So for supports, they just have to get lucky with Jederico. But each one of these cards have something special about them. And you actually see here, uh, near the bottom, you'll see that the card has, it can come in a card pack, it can come from rapport, and it also comes from exchange. And that exchange is a wandering merchant in Udea. And if you've seen my previous videos, you would know that wandering merchants can be tracked from a website that I use called lostmerchants.com, but let's just look at these real quick. So Thunder comes from Udea, a wandering merchant. Um, Varut comes from Rethrimus, a wandering merchant. Mihan comes from East Lutera, a wandering merchant. Pride Home Neria comes from Rethrimus, a wandering merchant. And Kraus actually comes from a wandering merchant in Arthentine. So if you were looking at a way to farm these cards, all you have to do is whenever they spawn, which blue cards are more common to spawn, so they spawn more often throughout the day, you could you could easily get a lot. If you're just sitting around and you're just watching Lost Merchants, you could pick quite a few of these up in a day. You can grind out these cards. The same thing with you have a plan for supports. Pyre has Wandering Merchant and Yorn. Uh, Sian has Shushire. Bergstrom has Arthentine. You have Kraus again, which is Arthentine. The only problem is Jederico does not have a Wandering Merchant spawn. So this one you're going to have to get through card packs or getting lucky or something like that. But that's totally okay because you have other options like your Delane Armin and your Carmine. I still think this is, it, it, I guess it's easier than the Legendary cards, but it's still not that easy to get. But that's totally off. That's totally okay. Regardless, you go to these Lost Merchants, and you can find these Lost Merchants, uh, funny enough, right here. And right now, it's obvious that no one's been to it because these just came up. But I'm actually near one of the <clears throat> uh, Wandering Merchants right now. You would actually see it on my screen. He spawned right here. This is Ben. So I'm going to actually check what Ben has to uh, give, and he has... Damn, he's got the Syria card. I don't really need the Syria card right now. You could buy rapport when you, you're doing this too, and this will really help if you're trying to get your rapport done. But this is where your card would be. I actually bought one just a little bit ago, but the recording didn't look good at all. Um, I may like throw it in just to let you guys see. So now we're here. As you can see, we are at the same place in Rethrimus. We are in Rethrimus and Kuma Mountain. So here we are, and you can see that we're at the merchant. This is where it, it gives a little symbol here. It kind of looks like a wheel. 
um, but that's the Wandering Merchant. They have certain times that they spawn, and you can see here that you can buy for very cheap silver cost Pride Home near you. This is how you're going to be farming your cards for Deep Dive and for You Have a Plan. They're very accessible. They're cheap in silver, usually cheap in silver. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be expensive in any case. At the most, you're probably going to spend, I don't know, 50,000 silver. But if you're not making a lot of silver, something's wrong. So this is how you get your deep dive set. This is how you get your you have a plan set. The only thing you have to work on really are your legendaries and Jadarko for your support. I hope this helped you. This was supposed to be a faster video. I just wanted to show you guys if this video helped you. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you guys for everything you do. I hope you have a great one in Arcasia. See you on the next one, guys. Peace out.